general operational benefit, manager is really organized into three big, big things. The people, the names, uh, courses, the programs, the classes, the workshops you do, <clears throat> and then, of course, the registration, which is a record of a person enrolling in a class. Now, um, there are lots of other elements, but those are the big three. Kind of, we call them the holy trinity. If we're looking at the toolbar now, <clears throat> the, the uh, colored icons address the different lookups for the various tables. We've talked about the names and the courses and the registrations. <clears throat> But the other main icons on the system are faculty lookup, add edit codes, uh, edit preferences, online help guide, and then log on a different user. Now, I uh, do not want to note we will be talking about codes, I believe, in, I think it's the last one, number five of the series. So, um, Navigating to move through the system, you can either click on the icon uh, to, to get you to where you want to go, or go to a drop-down menu to get to the area. To leave Student Manager, you would go to File and choose Exit, or you can use the X close in the upper right. Now, one of the things, the big, big things, is that when you leave your office, when you're done working with Student Manager, even if it's going to be for a long lunch, our recommendation is that you always close, you always exit out of Student Manager. And, and the reason for that is that so that if, if you don't get back to your office, Student Manager is not up and open for somebody who doesn't have the authority to or shouldn't be in the Student Manager data records to get in there. Now, one of the ways to do this, and I'm going to roll into Manager real quick, is this um, log on element. If you're in Student Manager and you want to leave for a few minutes, rather than shutting all the way down, you can just click on the login. Now that will lock the system so that the next person in, unless they know a password, can't get into the system. So you'd need to log back in in order to get back into the system. All right, uh, edit. <clears throat> now kind of navigating across the menu bar. Uh, let's you copy, cut, paste of data. Now, again, this screen, if you're not open in a data record, the undo, copy, cut, paste aren't going to be live. Clone name, paste name, preferences generally are on all the time. Um, module. Uh, typically, module from the menu is where most of the data entry comes from. Of course, that or using your colored icons on the menu bar. <clears throat> Uh, names, courses, registrations, supplemental data elements uh, for the codes, the codes area that support the big three. And moving on, reporting area. If we if we move across again, we we talk about the, the number of different areas, the number of reports, tools. Uh, again, depending on your role in the organization, you may or may not be a database or not the administrator. We call them keeper of the flame, in which case you should be familiar with these particular tools. Uh, <clears throat> there are webinars in the webinar archive uh, that cover uh, the data management or data cleanup elements. One of the, and then finally, if we go to the last menu item, one of the big, uh, the big picture views is under help about student manager. And I will jump to that real quick because I do think that's something that's good to know. <clears throat> this gives you the number of records in each of your main tables, when they were last updated, tells you who you are in case you forgot, or in case you've gotten to a computer and you don't know who's logged on, and your main user level and where the data is. It also tells you when was, uh, what's today's date, that's the computer date. It tells you the version you're on, and it tells you a serial number and the status of your uh, credit card encryption. Of course, most of you on this, that's going to be blank because you're using a redirect. <clears throat> OK, uh, let's, let's, let's get with the program. Laurie, any questions, any chatter going on right now that we need to address? We doing good? Good, good, good. All right, um, entering names. Well, multiple ways to get in. Uh, again, you can click the plus button. Again, that's assuming you're going to add a brand new name. You can click uh, 
the menu items, module names, add new name, <clears throat> or you can use the keyboard shortcut, Alt-A. I'm curious, for you existing, you, you experienced users out there, raise your hand if uh, you use the, uh, the keyboard shortcut keys, that is the Alt plus A. Raise your hand if you use the shortcut keys a lot, Alt-A, Alt-L, Alt-J. I'm just kind of curious. <clears throat> We've got Jeannie. Jeannie's a, a short cutter. And we got a few. Again, this is your preference, but the point is you've got choices in terms of how you operate the program. Um, customizing the screen. Now, we're going to be talking about this later, uh, but that um, within Student Manager, there is a preferences area that the program, that is the university of whoever you are, <clears throat> can turn fields on, uh, you can enable fields, uh, a number of uh, fields allow you to repurpose. We call them repurposing or relabeling. I call it the MASH approach, you know, cross out machine gun on the, on the requisition type in incubator. But if it's something that you need to use and you're not using the original purpose of that uh, field, absolutely you can give it a different label and use it for uh, different uh, purposes. And again, as I mentioned, we'll cover that more in the final uh, webinar series. Information.